coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Drone Racing League teams up with Lockheed Martin to launch Alpha Pilot. AMA and CTA lead first stakeholder meeting on recreational UAS regulations. And the University of Maryland uses an unmanned aircraft to deliver a kidney for transplant. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. Lockheed Martin and the Drone Racing League challenge you to participate in Alpha Pilot, an open invitation challenge for developing artificial intelligence for high-speed racing. Alpha Pilot will challenge teams of up to 10 participants to design AI framework powered by NVIDIA Jetson platform for AI at the edge that's capable of flying a drone without any human intervention or navigational pre-programming. The drones will race head-to-head -head through complex three-dimensional tracks. Alpha Pilot aims to unite a diverse community of practicing and emerging AI experts, researchers, and students to inspire the next generation of autonomous drone technology. Enter Alpha Pilot today for your chance to master autonomous flight and win more than $2 million in cash prizes. Now let's take a brief look at stories making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's time for our Drone Minute. Soon, hobbyists and drone operators will no longer have to notify every airport within a 5 mile radius before an operation. This provision will be replaced by a new requirement that operators in controlled airspace will be required to seek authorization from towered airports unless flying from a charted fly site. Autonomous flying with electrical vertical takeoff and landing could be made possible within the next 10 years by Royal NLR and PAL-V. Currently, PAL-V is finalizing the development of the PAL-V Liberty, the world's first commercial flying car planned to enter the market in 2020. Dates for the 2019 AMA National Competition are now available starting with indoor free flight on May 29th through June 2nd and ending with RC soaring on August 2nd through the 11th. For a full list of dates and events, check out modelaircraft.org. Educators, companies, or personnel operating in the recreational drone community are encouraged to reach out to AMA and Aero News to share what's going on in their local communities surrounding model aircraft and drones. If you would like to find out more about the AMA Drone Report or AMA's other programs and educational opportunities, send an email to jim at aero-news.net or call 863-299-8680. Now back to the rest of the news. The AMA recently led the first stakeholder meeting on UAS regulations in conjunction with the Consumer Technology Association. The meeting was an important step towards advising the FAA with the best approach to move forward. A collective statement has been issued about the meeting. Regulations for recreational drone operators should be easy for the public to understand and rigorous enough to ensure safety. We are proud to have led the first meeting of stakeholders to help the Federal Aviation Administration craft this exact approach. At the meeting, we also discussed safety and knowledge tests for recreational model aircraft and drone operators, and the process for recognizing community-based organizations. We look forward to working with the recreational drone community and the FAA to strike the appropriate balance between innovation and safety. An unmanned aircraft was used by the University of Maryland to deliver a donor kidney to surgeons at the University of Maryland Medical Center. This is a first for both human medicine and aviation technology. The kidney was successfully transplanted into a 44-year-old female patient with kidney failure. The flight took place on April 19th and was led by University of Maryland UAS test site at St. Mary's Court. The vehicle traveled over two and a half miles and flew for around 10 minutes. Transplant surgeon Dr. Joseph Scalia was quoted as saying, This is a major step towards reinventing 
the way that the current system of organs are moved. And I think we can help a lot of people this way. Might take a long time, but it's the first step. Prior to this first delivery, researchers had tested out the drone by delivering items such as blood tubes, saline, and a non-viable test kidney. And that's it for our drone report today. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you would like more information on the exciting hobby drone world, check out modelaircraft.org. Thanks for watching and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.